Hey everybody, it's Cosmo here. Today I'm going to show you how to 3D scan and print yourself using an Xbox 360 Connect sensor and software that you can go download for free. I know it's been done, there's probably a thousand other videos on YouTube that say they do the same thing, but this one actually works because the software that I'm going to tell you about actually exists and you can actually go download it and I will show you the steps from start to finish uh, scanning my son Zach and printing out a statue. So stick around. Okay, there's two ways you can normally do this. Uh, one is to move the sensor around the object you're trying to scan. I found this doesn't work very well for people. Um, you have to keep a minimum distance away, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, it's easier to just set it on the corner of the desk and then spin around it. Um, so I have my drum set thrown here and it needs to be oiled, but it lets you rotate perfectly uh, without moving too much so um, I also generally have them close their eyes that way they're not moving their heads around by being distracted looking at the screen or whatever um, you don't have to close them yet <laughs> okay so let's give this thing a spin all right this is the screen you see when you open up reconstruct me you can adjust the size of the box around the object you're trying to scan here so you can see the preview of yourself to make sure you're going to fit in there uh, make sure the selfie scan box is checked and that'll optimize it for 3d printing make you watertight and fix the holes on the top of your head and whatnot so click start when you're ready to go And it'll show you as it scans, you can just slowly rotate yourself around and you can see how well it's doing based on the areas that are filled in. And you can see in this case, we missed the spot there on his back. Uh, the camera wasn't centered at all either. So this could have been a lot better, but for the sake of this demonstration, it'll work. Okay, so it'll process for a while. Um, that's one of the drawbacks of the free version. And here's what our scan looks like when it's done. As you can see, it did a pretty good job considering how fast we scanned him and the fact that this camera wasn't even centered, but I'm pretty happy with the result. So you'll want to save your file at this point. If you save it as an STL, then we'll need to open it up in NetFab. Um, the free version of Reconstruct Me adds spheres and text to your model, which we'll have to clean up before we can print it. And we'll do that next, as soon as this is done saving. Okay, so this is NetFab Basic, which is free. You can go download it and get the link in the description of the video here. Um, it has a lot of drawbacks for the free version, but it does just enough to do what we need. So you'll open up your scan model. Hopefully your CPU is faster than mine. Okay, so here you can see all the extra spheres and text that are added to the model. So to fix it, you click on Repair, then click the Select All Triangles button, and that'll select all the objects. Then you can right-click on the part you want to keep and remove it from the selection, then hit Delete, and it gets rid of everything else. So then you click the Apply button to do the repair, discard the old version of the model, and there you go, you're just left with the part you want. You can see it's not too bad. You can see that flat spot on his back that we missed. I actually have a better scan that I had done previously that I'm going to print instead of this one. So don't be surprised when the model looks different at the end. I'm going to export the model as an STL. And you might need to do another repair here. It'll fix holes and things so it'll print correctly. Okay, now you can open that STL up in your slicer. In this case, we're using Cura. We're going to be printing this in Labric filament, which is a sandstone mixed with plastic, which gives awesome results. And you can see my settings here. Save it to the SD card and cue the time lapse. All 
right, so here's the results. Um, it came out pretty good. There are no visible lines between the layers, so this uh, lay break is awesome stuff. Um, under the chin seems like it's always a problem for me, um, no matter what filament I'm using. But I'm very happy with the results. All right, well, now that we've got a 3D version of you, we don't need the real one anymore. You can go play. Now that you see how easy this is, click subscribe and go print yourself.